is Shanna and today, well, today we are reading more fanfiction. I just... These videos are fun to film because reading my old fanfiction is hilarious. They're also kind of embarrassing to film for me, they're embarrassing to edit, and they're even more embarrassing to upload. So I hope you guys enjoy them because the embarrassment is just everywhere. I can't remember what we have and haven't yet read online, so that is fun. Let's hop on to our good old fanfiction.net and find out. Pretty sure it's gonna be a Harry Potter fanfiction today because that is mostly what I wrote when I discovered fanfiction fiction was a thing. I'm going to read a chapter from A Tale of Love, which is a series of one-shots featuring our favourite couple Ron and Hermione. There are four chapters, so there's Good Morning, Beautiful, I Thought You Knew, and Tricks and Roses. We're going to start with Good Morning, and Good Morning is a really short story, so this is good. Not as much embarrassment. I don't remember a lot about it, but I'm pretty sure this is just going to be fluffy and cute, so fingers crossed, and let's get started. Ron wasn't too fond of mornings. He would much rather stay in bed and get up around noon. Me. That's me. Me. That's been me my whole life. Ron, we have so much in common. He often joked that he would love mornings if only they came later in the day. <laughs> it's like it's me. Hermione simply called him lazy. She would always be up early, mostly due to the crying of their daughter Rose, and would have showered, dressed, and eaten all before Ron had even opened his eyes. That's my mother. She gets up at like five o'clock in the morning. Crazy. It wasn't that Ron didn't want to get up early in the mornings. Truly, he did. It was just that he couldn't ever bring himself to do it. Okay, I used a semicolon there, but incorrectly, so... Not sure why I was so obsessed with semicolons in year 11, but apparently I was, so, you know, that's a thing. The only times he had ever managed to do so when it was his turn to tend to his daughter or when his wife was sick. Ron smiled as he watched his wife sleep soundly next to him. One of her hands was curled protectively around her stomach. The other was clasped gently around his. He pulled her closer to him and placed a kiss on her cheek. Hermione shifted slightly in her sleep before slowly opening her eyes. This is so corny. Oh no. I'm not great at doing like the romantic lovey-dovey stories so this is just, this is a thing that we're reading. Good morning, she said sleepily. Good morning, he replied, his voice somewhat muffled as his lips pressed against her shoulder. He's been kicking again, Hermione whispered softly as she placed Ron's hand atop her stomach. Ron smiled again as he felt the soft kicking beneath his warm hand. Why are you so sure it's a boy, he asked curiously. My motherly intuition, Ron snickered. Okay, but like, I know why it's a boy. <laughs> he remembered when Hermione had been pregnant with Rose. She had been sure that it was a boy then too. What are you doing up so early? She asked as she realised what the time was. Ron pressed his lips once again to Hermione's shoulder before answering. This is making me feel uncomfortable. Rose is crying. Hermione smiled as she stretched her legs. Your turn. Ron groaned playfully before rolling out of bed. Don't complain, said Hermione, her eyes once again closed. I've gotten up every time for the past week. Hermione chuckled. Even without looking, she knew her husband was rolling his eyes. Okay, I'm sorry. Whose point of view are we reading from right now? Because, like, it sounds like both. She heard rather than saw Ron leave the room. Yeah, we've switched to Hermione's point of view. Point of view shift, everybody, just in case you weren't aware. As she lay, she allowed her mind to wander freely. Unsurprisingly, she found her thoughts lingering on the day ahead. Ron would be at work and she would be home with Rose. Well, that is the most inaccurate thing I've ever read. Hermione would be like, I'll take her to work with me because work is important. She smiled as her daughter's face filled her thoughts. Thinking of Rose, of the perfect daughter she and Ron had created together, always put a smile on her face. The soft kicking of the baby inside her stomach reminded her of all she needed to do today. Harry and Ginny were coming for dinner with James and Albus, meaning she would need to spend most of the day cooking and cleaning. Mm, this is so not Hermione and also kind of sexist. <laughs> what? Concern. Such concern. For the life of her, she couldn't understand how the house had become such a pigsty, considering Ron was hardly at home and Rose wasn't old enough to make much of a mess. Hermione suddenly realised that Rose had stopped crying. She listened closely to try and hear what Ron was saying to their daughter. She couldn't hear a thing, which made her a little suspicious. Rose was two years old and almost impossible to keep quiet. She wondered what Ron had done to get her so quiet. She wondered what Ron had done to get her so quiet. No, that is the actual sentence that I wrote, and it's bad. Lucky for her, she didn't have to wait long to find out. Ron rolled his eyes at Hermione, knowing that even without her looking at him, she would know that he'd done it. Hold on. Okay. We've jumped back in time a few seconds. Um, I'm so confused. I'm so sorry. This this is confusing. I don't know how anybody read this and wasn't confused when we were younger. He left the room and made his way down the hallway towards Rose's bedroom. Her crying changed to shrieking the closer he, the closer her got, as though she thought her parents couldn't hear her. Hi, sweetie, he said as he looked through the door. He could see Rose standing in her crib, her little hands clenched into fists around the bars. Ron and Hermione were in the process of trying to move Rose to her first big girl bed, but just like her father, which is in capital, like I used a capital F for father, probably didn't need to. 
She was proving to be stubborn and didn't want to leave her crib. Ron walked up to the crib where Rose was rubbing the sleepy dust out of her eyes. Bad dream, he asked quietly, bending down so that he and his daughter could be eye to eye. Rose nodded, tears slipping down her face. Ron reached into the crib and lifted Rose out onto his hip. It's over now, sweetie. Your dream can't scare you anymore. Rose buried her head into her father's shoulder. Again, father with a capital F concern and cried freely as Ron stroked her hair. He sat with her in the rocking chair that his mother had bought them and now mother is in a capital. What is happening? And whispered soothing words to get her to to her to get her to quiet and down. Such a confusing sentence. I swear I write better than this now. Eventually she grew quiet and Ron thought she had fallen back asleep. He stood up ready to put her back into her crib when she lifted her head and stared into his eyes. What are you looking at? He asked tickling her. She giggled and tried to move his hand from her side. Shush he said whilst placing a finger on her lips. I hate the word whilst. I don't know why, but the word pisses me off. I don't ever use it. I didn't even use it in essays at uni because the word angers me to my core. Every time I see someone using it, I'm just like, ooh, it makes me mad and I don't know why. I don't think you'll ever see me use that word ever again. Even if it's like grammatically correct, it angers me and I will find a different word to use. Rose stopped giggling and looked at Ron meaningfully. Let's surprise mummy. Rose smiled and nodded enthusiastically. Ron put Rose down, took her hand and began leading her towards the bedroom he shared with Hermione. The clothes the closer they got, the harder it was for Rose to stifle her giggles. When they got to the door, Ron got down on one knee to explain the plan to Rose. We're going to jump on Mummy, he whispered to her. Yes, Rose whispered back to him. When we get inside, I'll lift you onto the bed and you jump, okay? Yes, Rose repeated. Ron put his finger to his lips and Rose copied him. He smiled and opened the door. Rose tiptoed into the room and Ron followed her, closing the door softly behind him. He looked at his wife and saw that her eyes were still closed. He could tell she wasn't sleeping and he knew that she would be expecting something like this. Ron picked Rose up and set her down like on the bed. She stood up and bent her knees ready to jump but just before she could Hermione opened her eyes and pulled Rose on top of her. Surprise! exclaimed Hermione loudly. Rose began to giggle loudly until she couldn't stop. Ron smiled as he watched his wife and daughter laughing on the bed together. Careful! Hermione kept saying between giggles. Ron rolled his eyes again. It was typical of Hermione to be overly cautious about the baby in her stomach when playing with her daughter. Daddy! cried Rose. Yeah come on daddy! said Hermione. Ron smiled again as he joined them on the bed. He wrapped his arms around the both of them and planted a kiss on each of their foreheads. You know what? asked Ron mischievously. What? replied Hermione. I love mornings. Mm. So, they were so OOC, it's not funny. The most out of character characters ever. They, Hermione and Ron don't act like that. That is not even a little bit how their lives would be. I just, I was a bad writer in year 11. At least a bad fanfiction writer. That was terrible. That was possibly the worst of the four stories I've read so far on YouTube. In fact, that, that, oh, no, do you know what? Tied really closely with her heart, his love, because that story was shocking. <laughs> So that's a thing that I did. That's a thing that I've read to you now. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comment section below if you actually enjoy hearing me read my old fan fictions because I don't know why you would because they're terrible and horrible and like real bad. But if you did, let me know down below if you'd like me to read more because I have plenty more where that came from. If you like this video, be sure to give it a huge thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a thing. See you random. Bye.